one like this on my phone before, so hopefully this will work out okay. Um, if you don't know who I am, I run a program called Connected Kids, and it's been going for about twenty years. And we concentrate on teaching or training adults to help children learn meditation, which means that um, we work with kids of all ages and abilities, including autism, ADHD, trauma, um, and we've done it for quite a long time. And I suppose one of the things that I really wanted to kind of bring home um, about if you were thinking of teaching kids meditation, uh, autistic kids, is to real realize that it's not about really affecting their autism. <laughs> That's not what it's about. It's about giving them the skills to deal with the stress that they feel because their stress levels are usually a lot higher than ours in normal day-to-day -day life. So that's just something for you to, you know, to bear in mind. It isn't about changing them, it isn't about, you know, doing anything different, about releasing them from the world of autism. It's about saying, we know who you are, we think you're great, but we need to bring the best out of you with that. And um, and that's really what it's about. And, you know, life is stressful. We've had a lot of stress in the last two years. We seem to have ongoing worldwide stress at the moment, which is quite extraordinary. So we have to um, do our best. And, you know, our, our kids on the spectrum, are really, my goodness, they they feel acutely than we do anyway. So it's really about helping us to um, help them reduce those stress levels as best as possible. Now, um, one of the things that we teach in our program is to really meet children where they're at. So, um, and also to practice meditation too, because there's no point in trying to teach meditation if you don't practice it. That's just a piece of nonsense as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't mean that you have to be some expert in meditation, it just means you have to at least start to have a regular meditation practice to help you cope with, sorry, my dog's making a lot of noise here, to help you cope with, um, with having, you know, that, yeah, to help you cope with the unexpected basically and to help you almost tune in to what it is that you need. I'm going to talk about that more in another live stream probably next week. Um, if you've ever tried to teach kids meditation, you have this view of what meditation is and you think, well, that's not, my kids could never achieve that. And that's maybe true, actually. Um, but that's not why we're teaching them meditation. We're teaching them meditation to cope with who, not who they are, but the, what they have to experience every day. So, for example, one of the things I really find um, most difficult is if something unexpected happens, then suddenly, you know, we feel very ungrounded and unsafe. So you'll often hear people talk about kids who, uh, autistic kids who don't cope very well with change. Um, I know that's not exclusive to people on the autistic spectrum, but it is something that's very prevalent with them. And so therefore, if you are able to show someone how to recognise their body signals when that when they're starting to feel that stress, give them some strategies and tools to use, very mindful strategies, then that when this happens, try this, when this happens, try that. And that way, if they can, you know, I suppose regulate and take more control over their breath and their body's responses, then even though they still don't like change and they don't really want that change, they just cope better with it, you know, and it doesn't cause them such a high level of stress like it would normally do if they don't have any strategies whatsoever. So that's just a small example of it. So I just wanted to share this with you. Um, I hope if you've got any questions, you get in touch with us uh, through our website, connected-kids.com. And um, yes, just reach out to us. I do do one to one short connect calls for free for anyone who wants to have a chat with me about this, even if it's about your own child on the autistic spectrum. Um, there's only a small percentage of those calls available, but you can have a look at our website in the contact us section and get in touch if you feel that would help. Or there's lots of free resources that we have there too. Hopefully it helps and thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.